Hello, and welcome to the channel. It is day six of moving wood chips. I've been moving wood chips for about three hours. Let me show you what I've done. This is the beginning of the cut flower garden. And I have dumped wood chips all along here. I have not been moving the piles so that I could cut down on my time. I've just been dumping piles. You can see here are piles, are piles, piles all along the pathway. I hope I'm not moving too fast. I dropped the last pile right there. Right there. I did begin to kick wood chips down this aisle and I stopped right there. So I still have all that left to do down there. I have put all the wood chips from the aisle over here. I've been kicking them through here and I was able to get the wheelbarrow through the back and dumped piles back there and kicked wood chips all the way along to right here. So I've been moving wood chips this way. Right back behind the greenhouse, I kicked wood chips all the way to right there where the garden fork is. I have still a lot more left to do. I've got plenty more to dump back there, but I left a huge pile of wood chip right here as well. I've been spreading it out here, but I have wood chips here and here. Huge pile right in here. And I just dropped a pile right here. I've spread a bunch along the side of the shed. I've also put a little bit in front of the shed, more so right there. Haven't put much right here yet today, but I am still working. I'm gonna give myself one more hour. Behind the shed in the orchard area, I have filled all of this in, even right up along the back of the shed. All of this has gotten a bunch of wood chips. I dumped chips. a pile of wood chips at the end of the aisle. I've also been kicking wood chips along the side of the shed to include inside of the entire garden. I want to say <clears throat> I worked about four and a half, five hours today. I've been taking a lot of breaks, sitting down, drinking water, and I'm surveying all that I've done. I felt really good about today's progress. I didn't work on day four or day five. Today is day six, it's Saturday. I show you the rest of what I've done. And I'm done for the day. I will start up again in the morning because the sun is up. It's a little after 1.30, and I'm sure it's like 90 degrees, and I'm done for the day. Yeah, I'm done. Let me show you. I believe I showed you all the piles that go all the way around to the beginning of the cut flower garden, and I started back there. I showed you all that, but I finished putting more wood chips here. I put more wood chips back there. I don't know if you can see the piles. I put about two piles right there and I kicked more wood chips going that way as well as coming this way. I also dumped wood chips all inside of the cattle panel. Now I have a skink, maybe two, that lives in here and I've seen it running around, scare the bejeebas out of me. But uh, I have a skink lizard, maybe two. So I put one pile here and one pile here. And then I began to move back up, drop piles all throughout the cattle panel. And the skink ran in that way and came out again and ran up that way and has been going back that way. So I put more wood chips all along through the cattle panel. I dumped another pile right here and I have spread it out because I needed to continue to move the wheelbarrow through and I couldn't do that with all the wood chips. I have dumped another pile here and kicked it up through there. I have also kicked more wood chips this way as well as I dumped piles all along here and I just started spreading those out. I've been kicking wood chips that way, spreading it out, spreading it out. 
I had a huge pile right here. I've been kicking it up that way and that way and spreading it out, getting it behind the containers this way, as you can see. I have stopped right here, but I have been kicking blue chips here. The skink has been going that way. I think it's hunting for food. I kicked wood chips back along this way. I dumped several piles here, kicked wood chips back that way, and I stopped right here. So I've got to get all that back there. And I kicked wood chips along here, all along here, and I stopped right there. So that is what I have done as far as putting wood chips in the garden today. And I'm tired. So I'm going to call it a day. Well, this Let me is show you the pile. I started working on this end today, and I've been working all along down this way. I'm not cleaning up my mess because I'm going to do this again tomorrow, and it doesn't make any sense to me to clean it up. So I have worked a great deal of all of this. It's completely gone, as you can see. The uh, pile is lessening. I worked on this side today as well, scraped it back, trying to get it off the street, and the pile is lessening. Over here on this end, I, I showed you first, I've been working the pile. The pile is beginning to whittle down. Oh, I've done a lot of work today. So that is what I've been doing today. And I'm tired, exhausted, worn out. <sighs> Lifting with my legs and not my back, getting those squats in. So hopefully this will amount to some good exercise. I know it is, but <sighs> I'm worn out. So thank you for joining me again in another rendition of what I'm doing to move those wood chips. I hope you all enjoy me showing you the progression of the pile going down and the wood chips being laid out. Um, it's a little more labor intensive because I have more in the garden than I did when I got my first chip drop. So I'm having to work around all the things. I'm having to use a five gallon bucket, which takes time. So it's a lot. Okay, as you can see, I'm probably, you can probably see I'm sweaty. I do apologize. You know, this is work. And I don't have magical fairies. I wish I did. I know there are people out there who garden and say that gardening isn't work. I ask again, because I think I asked before, can I get y'all to come move these wood chips for me? Because for me, it's work. It's a lot of work, especially with somebody who has physical limitations. But it's getting done. All right, y'all, I'm gonna go inside, get cleaned up, eat some cold watermelon that grew in my garden, and drink more water because I need it. So again, thank you for joining me on this adventure. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you learn something. If you're thinking about getting a chip drop, it is not for the, the faint at heart. It would be helpful if you had help, but you can do it by yourself. You really can. You need the right tools. Whew. So give me that thumbs up, share the video, Leave me a comment. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. And I hope to see you either in my kitchen or my food forest real soon. I gotta go, y'all. It's hot. Bye now.